VSM, TRK, two other pieces of the puzzle that I think MIB are absolutely maximizing at the moment. It's wild to think that a player as young as Brokey, who is as early in his career as he truly is compared to his teammates, can synergize with them so well. You talk about how he can be that second player in, how he tethers off of them, but remember who you're talking about in his surroundings. Brokey is something special, and he's dead. KNG starts this one off. Quick kill from long A. And now they could just continue to walk this way. They've got double smokes, double flashbangs, and they will throw up the smokes. Rain, he's gonna go right through this. The flashbang's perfect from Olaf, but he can't manage more than one. A little bit off the mark. We saw some missed smoke grenades on Nuke as well from MIBR. Ooh. Oh, off the dome armor eight. almost kills him. Right when the nade lands, KNG again, he's carrying on so far, looking really, really strong. Ooh, great shot by Leo, and that leaves Cold Zera alone. Only Brazilians left alive. He'll have to take down three to win <laughs> and watch his flashbang <laughs> pop in his face. Yeah, he shoots the damn thing. They're tracking on that flashbang, though, that was yeah. pretty nice by Cold Zera. Let's see if he can actually get the kill to complement it. No, no sir. He comes in, KNG, one hell of a round. So, missed smoke, not punished too badly. VSM almost dropped out by the frag grenade. That could have bought a little bit of time for FaZe. This was KNG killing Brokey through the windows. Also dealing with the flank swiftly enough. Kierby tries to go for that repeat, gets wrecked. P250 just popping heads, man. That's the reality of the situation. FaZe Clan, single scout, deagles all around it. We'll see what they can do. They are pos it's possible for them to win on a round like this. They did it actually to MIBR after a pistol trying to get a conversion out to long really quickly vsm inside of lower he is the lurker he is the clutcher honestly not always putting up the best stats so far but one of the most impressive players for me coming out of the fall series even though i don't he think he only went positive one time but he just won so many pivotal rounds plus he's got amazing teeth like i can't i can't really <laughs> underrate vsm for any reason and Brokey, he'll look for an opening. He'll actually find it. That's a good scout kill, or shot, excuse me, into the chest of TRK. Mm -hmm. Can't oh, be dude. also quite low. He'll look, he actually grabs another. Oh my god, Lucas gets tagged. That flash, there was four players blinded off of it. And now two players blind off that one. CT is starting to make those pistols sing. But here comes VSM, meant to really alleviate the pressure. He catches the player jumping. That's the scout now down. Transitions the MAC-10 to a near third frag. But VSM will still fall. And the scout's done its damage. KNG and Lucas really low. And Leo right there with them. Well, they're taking their time. Kirby's coming up behind them. Yep. It'll be covered. Oh. No, KNG, the awareness kicked in. Twice. Rain will add another frag to the board. But Made in Brazil weathers the storm. And they take their conversion for a second. It's close, Brokey. He gets so much damage off and, and does his half, basically, to make this round competitive. But they cannot get it. It's always one person not blind. Somebody on a flank. And again, VSM knowing when to have that call of duty to come up the cat when they need him, when he would normally just be there to catch rotators through mid. Well, all we see is that he's on cat. What we don't see is that he realizes when he can leave his position, when he could have just stayed there and lurked. Again, out to long uh, control really quickly. It's a lot of cat players. It's looking just like the anti-eco, and that's because that's what it is. The CTs crowded up, probably looking for a flash at mid and KNG, hugging the door now with a MAC-10. Flash through the doorway, knows he hit someone because that desperate USP shot just chirps off. And Leo, well, he actually gets bested by a pistol arrow. Traded by Lucas as he looks to continue on to the A site. They found the totem pole, dealt with the first piece of it, and Brokey's not long for this world, but he will go down with a fight. MIBR, 3-0 straight out the gate. Can the guns stop them now? I'll start. We're going to have Brokey pick up the op instantly. And, and now we'll talk shop about what to do on the rifle round for MIBR here. KNG opping as well. What is the opening, establishing, defining setup for the T side after a series of long hits? You guessed it. A long hit. A long hit. Flash out the door, met by Brokey. Not quite so easy with the guns. But obviously, ample time to run this one elsewhere. Very strong commitment from FaZe Clan towards Long. This is smart from VSM, busting out mid. As soon as Long Control is taking, noticing the CTs are in this setup, 
The CTs will know this coming back to mid. That mid is in jeopardy potentially. VSM is really taking some liberties here. That's an instant headshot on Kirby on the rotate. And now KNG spotting, holding this position so smart by KNG to lock this in. This actually opens Cat back up after an opening kill for FaZe. And Olaf, well, he's wrapped long all the way back behind MIBR. But seeing as how far forward they are, now the high alert comes in. They keep eyes on it. Olaf spotted. Does a decent amount of damage to VSM. But what's the opening here from FaZe? What gets the ball rolling back into the retake? How can they justify potentially throwing away these three weapons when they already have their opponents off to such a flying start? They can't. That's the catch. They have to let this fourth round slip. Coming up, Catwalk. KNG cracks it open, and everybody floods forward from it. That was perfect control from VSM to get out mid, knowing exactly how far out to push too, right? You can show up to work, okay? But that doesn't mean you're gonna do a good job. And VSM, he comes out middle where they tell him to go, like we got long control from the CTs, but then he goes that one step further to make sure that it's actually an impactful play and fishes out that frag. Same for KNG, in tandem with him on cat, and you can see them on the kill feed at the same time. It's symbolic because they needed to work together for both of those kills. Eight and zero already into this game. KNG, one of his most lights out performances that we remember on Nuke, and he's already carrying forward. He's a guy, he's like that, he's like got that config attitude. When he, he gets rolling, he doesn't slow down, he doesn't doubt it, he just keeps going. Yeah, like what we saw from Henny yesterday when Furio were fighting from the back foot. His energy in and of itself just kind of got the whole team fired up and then he rolled right through them, never slowing down. And VSM given a gift as he catches the head of Kierbi. Cold with prying eyes through the doorway, looking for an additional kill here. Looks to throw a flash of his own, but it's instantly stopped by TRK. And now FaZe need to reevaluate. Do they really want to risk this? I don't know. They got an insurance policy in Lucas all the way back in the playground, waiting to see if they come through tunnels. They don't even have to play here at all. And FaZe Clan, well, they're going to be the traveling circus, walking all the way through spawn together. A nomadic tribe on the hunt for some exits, if possible. Lucas will come back into sight for rain, but there won't actually be a kill to come of it. Will the hunt come in for MIBR? They have very good money to work with, but that doesn't necessarily mean they want the duels. Once this turns into a long A setup, you'd think they're probably not going to test this too hard. CTs have a significant advantage from this point on, but they're still willing to give it a shot, it looks like. Molly's really going to keep Lucas from taking the risk. MIBR on fire as fast as possible. FaZe Clan's pick. This is insane. He actually just one taps him through the smoke here. Okay, he turns it into a spray down at the back. I mean, he's aiming in the generally the right direction. It's still unfortunate that it happens, but. Got to give him some credit. Contrast KNG is 8-0 oh, to man. the 0-3 of Olaf, the 0-5 of Kierby, and the quick pace that MIBR consistently let sink in. They wait for no man. All right, he hits that long range spray transfer to Olaf. The fallback plan, the contingency plan for the CT side, they rush long so quickly. Nobody does that anymore, committing all the way out that far. Two rounds ago, they saved with three. Last round, they save with three. And now here in the six, they are faced with a similar situation, except Rain has no plan for evacuation. There is nowhere to run. So they have to hang on a little longer. And by an extension of this, well, we could watch MIBR completely redirect, but with so many players in position, they're going to try to pound headstrong into the A site. This is all that FaZe have left to their name, and that's not saying much. They're going to drop some utility, and he just tries to run. Cold Zero with a single kill, Dude. and MIBR show no sign of stopping. What exactly is this, VSM? Does he care? Does he realize that this is an important match, that this is something they, they have some respect maybe for FaZe? No, he doesn't give a damn. They're literally, none of the players that he's shooting at is thinking that he's he has the balls to attack in the way that he does. And VSM is such a well-rounded player. He knows when to slow it down, when to go fast, how to lurk, how to entry. And right now, he can aim. 
leaving FaZe Clan. Long Control again. The only times they've even tested this Another is with one. Brokey on a single peak. Nobody has gone for the three-man setup, and when they have, it's been MIBR to squeeze out mid. Ooh, but Brokey is still over here. Yeah, he doesn't have an op on the corner to stop them. But rather a deagle back in sight. They don't need to commit to this, and they know it. Saving grace is that that one gun's yet to be retrieved. VSM's corpse too far down long for them to get their arms on it. TRK, gonna inch ever closer. He's got the cover back behind him. They're starting to get the info in the tunnels. Yep, starting to gather what they need trying to get their feet into position, but the fire, that does fluster two sets from the CTs. They move back onto the elbow. Olaf, like a landmine, sitting inside the site. He's lost his teammates. It is a clean sweep from MIBR. Another counter-terrorist with the jump scout in cold, trying to find something to hold on to, but there's no handles, there's no break. It's a wacky wild ride that they just can't get off of. Four members survive. Yes, one dies at the start of it, but made in Brazil, 7-0. Got the PSI of a landslide, an absolute avalanche of momentum coming into this map. I did not expect it to be this bad. They are not giving FaZe any time to think and literally doing the same thing over and over again. Every time they get a long spawn, they try it. If FaZe don't want to test them, they can fall back, but they cannot seem to win when they do that. So now they'll come forward. Brokey does get an opening kill again. They'll answer. They don't have VSM and lower this time to get out mid, but there is four players here. We'll see if it's going to be a fast jostle from the CTs back or if they do jock for position with no response from FaZe. They're going to get smoked out. The first one's bad. That could be a weird situation, but yeah. now there's only one player back in the no. Oh, oh my way. god, Kirby, he spams and gets answered back, and that leaves K this man at K-Sharp all alone. Cold's there with an AWP. Can he hold? He's just gonna hide behind Box. Just shots kind of singing by his head, yet still not dead. They know he's back here. They're trying to hone in on him. Cold, oh, stops one in the sky. That's bomb of all things. And Cold's gonna deliver a second kill here. It's gonna bring the man advantage back for FaZe as they hit it from behind. VSM, with that kill through smoke on CT spawn, he got this round re-rolling. And now he's gonna get aggressed upon, but they give him a chance to clutch. Oh, he gets no all way. lined up, and now it's just half health for the Olaf. Bait. He's run out from tunnel and it gets shut down. MIBR aren't stopping. He can't be stopped. VSM continuously putting up these clutch plays, whether it's in the clutch or not, to top it off like a cherry on a cake. The 1v3 masterfully played. Like the simplest instrument you could find. VSM finds his way out. The rose in the concrete. The clutch god. And they run it back right into long yet again. Nothing to stop them. Faze desperate to just get their hands on anything. A one versus three inside the B site. And they can't even win that one. Two times now after Brokey's been able to get himself the opening kill. We've seen MIBR claw a kill. No, sorry, rob a kill through smoke. Whether it's TRK on TR TRB or VSM onto him as well. Maybe this time, as MIBR are clearly feeling themselves and cranking that dial, not shying away from any fight, any moment. This boost up from behind the smoke, it's desperate, but it's all they've got. An AK in the hands of Brokey could couple nicely with it. He's on catwalk with an eventual flank up Xbox, perhaps. Leo's yet to make up his mind. Brokey shaves one off of the bomb site. Leo comes in to deal with his teammate. So it is only Brokey. That's what this whole map's felt like. Cold tried his damnedest from back plat on B. Imagine having five kills and looking like the best player on your team. They just don't stop. <laughs> it's just not slowing down at all. I can't believe what we're witnessing. This is what we're witnessing, Connor. <laughs> Three ops, okay? When things get so bad, you just tack one more on. Everybody get a kill. We don't communicate this round. This is not what we're losing. Let's just go out, spread out, and hit shots. That's the strategy at the moment. That's how bad it's gotten for a phase plan.
And they're just gonna punish this again. I can't believe the consistency in these long hits. Olaf's gonna be able to stop them, but he stops the first player. It doesn't deter them. They're gonna go ahead and commit behind blue. Surely we've got one round coming up. Even with that 1v3, because of the dominance and all of the other T rounds that were won, there's so much bank built up for MIBR. Olaf is one Molotov away from being screwed in this position, though he can drop a smoke, potentially getting a kill here, holding his ground. The third five versus four in a gun round finally turned into a 5v3 as well. Olaf has a teammate help him out, an additional spoke still on his belt, and two enemies lie ahead. But KNG comes hunting, and his missed shot could finally put FaZe Clan on the board. Olaf stuck between two targets, Brokey able to trade him. These AWPs all across the map are paying off at least for one. But MIBR, they haven't had to do anything different. So finally, FaZe will get gifted around here. But Olaf, I mean, that's what it relies on. A blinded op shot and an anchor behind the car with Brokey here to help out. Yeah, it's at least something. They'll grab, they'll grab that. Everybody can buy up again here for MIBR. And uh, FaZe Clan, they shy away from that third op. They don't even recover it. It's just Olaf back on an M4. The setup actually works. Flash out to long to make them feel like they're coming out this way. Cold Zera turns up and changes the pace with a with a lower push hopping. Brokey will try to fall away after the T's come down into the lower tunnels. And Leo thinks about putting some pressure over on the B site, but instead he'll just leave an after image flash to the left side of the site, make his presence known. This is actually such a good play calling out the fact that if FaZe don't have long control, they might come back to retake it. They should be uncomfortable, FaZe Clan, because they do not have Cat at all. I wouldn't be surprised if they peek. Smoked out with it. Smartly done. MIBR know what the setup is. KNG doing a good job of being bigger than he is. Had kept two players allocated onto Long, now only one stays in pit. The other moves to a closer position to try and stop this. Let's watch for Brokey. Cat is in question, failed run boost. Luckily, Brokey's not hanging on to the deepest of angles. But that trajectory from the smoke welcomes him in. And a massive scalp to take. That's a nightcap. Gonna go for the boost over smoke. And sure enough, they find one. It's Brokey, who's delivered. VSM now knows the player's just beneath the ledge. Leo turning his back to pit. That's a fatal mistake. But it's a 2v4 regardless. Deep long control for the CTs and a member here on close ramp. They take that engagement at a distance and it's not going to pay off at all. Rain, two kills to his name and a second round for FaZe on the board now. Yeah, it's a second. We'll see if it's just for dignity points there. Going to put two in succession. Two ops helps a lot for them. They're finally converting off of their opening kills, which is just a stat line that's evaded them. Bomb has been defused. For this whole game, Brokey, a key figure. Standing tall on the cat corner. Knowing exactly where he needs to hold his ground from. Usually has been successful early on, but again, not having complimentary help from his teammates as the round unfolds. Man, they are so committed to this opening and oh, it almost pays off yet again. Rain's able to get himself into the pit. Olaf tries to land the hit through the side of the smoke and that costs him. Four smoke grenades exchanged here. It's like a maze of temporary oh, cover. Flash that causes the turn. Brokey in such a pressured position. Catwalk not currently a problem. If Kierby can keep it closed, then Brokey maybe can take a sigh of relief, but I wouldn't let your guard down. Four players from MIBR potentially to round this corner, not to mention one inside of pit. 
A complicated position for Brokey. This has no help whatsoever. Cold not moving a muscle. Frozen in place in the B site, hoping that it's a fake. He's leaving. It is not. Yeah, they're, they're, he's just so screwed from up there, even holding against Long. If he thinks it's at all the cat split, it's a dangerous position. They have to gamble on something else, looking to take over mid control. I know it looks weird, but I think FaZe are making the correct play. Coming back onto Cat, they flank it, and now they can actually escort a rotation in, but their odds do not improve necessarily, but they weren't any better before. Well, at least they have that Cat secured. T's running out of utility as they use everything from their belts here. Save? They have to. They have two Save. ops on the retake. There's no chance. They need the ops to win. It's the only rounds that they have success in. I think they might need more than ops. It might be R. They're just able to just be so confident taking long. They could just try it. I mean, they've tried it probably nine rounds in total this half. Not much of anything else. Even the rounds they don't go, they're faking it. VSM, hell of a big performance here. That was such an insane 1v3. The way he played with all those angles, that's just one of those clutches I could actually talk about for minutes, really. Just each of the movements that he made, so smart trying to topple some of these remaining players. They're hiding in the safety of their B site. They'll get away with it. This is a 10th round for MIBR's T side. I would not, oh, I would not uncrouch there. That's the op. That's an op for Cold Zero. That's yeah. a big exit kill. He did not need to take that fight. Yeah, there not definitely at all. wasn't a lot to gain. No, you're right, 100%. And see this? He, Leo throws his own flash high into the left, just so Rain turns, even though he's not blind, displaces his aim. Dude, MIBR are absolutely They're owning. feeling themselves. Owning, yeah. A common term that we reserve for moments like this. I oh, someone's supposed to grab the bomb here. Yeah, they have to come back for that, I think. <laughs> a, a very humanizing moment here for MIBR in a, a situation where they've looked like actual demigods. Long not immediately tested. Brokey trying to find eyes here through the mid gap. Utility is not going to make him any more comfortable, but there are two players there in lower tunnels. Another cohort at the top of mid, side by side. MIBR looking oh, oh, for the mid Brokey. control. Clean one. Yeah, and Kierby even adding a kill to the tally. The young guns of FaZe to at least establish a five versus three here. Five rounds is the best case scenario for FaZe, and there's not much that should lead you to believe that they'll get all of the remaining rounds. But this one looking likely. More utility here for Catwalk. MIBR with so little to lose. They group back up inside of the doorway. Hey, hey 3v2 on the B site. Absolutely. Gonna try to run this one in. They have one molly for the execute. Kierby's gonna play the close door. Oh, Perfect damn. peak. Two headshots made easy for Kierby. KNG comes in with a trade. How about a 1v5, folks? If there's anybody who could do it. Okay, never mind. Not today. Asking for a lot. After all, we've seen just pure magic out of KNG on nuke and insane rounds here on Dust 2 as well. Again, like even 8 0 to start. I think there's a chance. Uh, Brokey keeps us cool, man. He doesn't get nervous. No matter how badly people are doing, he always is a consistent threat. That's why we talk about him for sure. It's only up to nine kills. Every single one of them has been like a huge impact right or off versus rifle or opening kill. But still, it's getting outshined. Two players towards the ramp. We've seen success from this boost before. See if Brokey keeps his head down. Three, two, split. No frills. A classic round here. Dust two. And a classic setup from the CTs. Rain's position. Will it be known? They've given him time to get into the spot. Olaf Duff. taking a fight here in pit. Puts the flash up and has another one to help out. 
Leaves two of the Brazilians stranded behind blue. Rain, yeah, easy pickup on the first kill, but he does get traded by TRK. And Olaf, in the meantime, just hanging on to pit, doing what he has to, staying alive, more importantly than anything else. A jump spot tells him that they still want him. And so he seeds back as far as he possibly can. Brokey just stay glued to this corner. Oh, but KNG, what? Flies down into the pit. Kierby's gonna clear the player off of elbow. 25 seconds and the kills start to rack up here for FaZe. KNG in yet another clutch. He gets legged and that should spell the end to this 14th round. It does. Coldzera gets the edge and FaZe slowly, minimally, making something happen in this CT side. This is so hilarious. He, they're like, oh, no one's doing anything. They're like, okay, can you go clear pit? No, flash me in, bro. He drops down with his goddamn op and kills Olaf Meister in the back of pit. I don't even know. No respect. Is this level 11 face it or what's going on? <laughs> Brokey, I like this. I like it. Getting unleashed for the final round of the first half. He's already down in the tunnels. Misses a uh -oh. shot though and this oh. compromises his position. He knows it. Gonna try to get out of dodge. Oh, he's oh tucked behind. Oh my oh, god, no and he way. gets the kill. No way. KNG trying to give chase. Brokey back in with an off shot combat. Swing in the sniper. Molotov to meet the face of the player on catwalk. Olaf, I would not stick around here. What was that? Move from Brokey. Holy. That was literal genius, man. He is a prodigy. That's crazy. I mean, that's the kind of play it won't work versus a bad player, right? But he can read into exactly what the response is going to be. Tucks in on the side of Xbox. That's so nuts. I don't even know. That's so nuts. He could have just left. Final attempt here along. Olaf no longer in pit. He wants nothing to do with it after KNG just broke him. Oh, but he gets called out. Still able to get one kill and Brokey, he lands those. Seven health remaining on FaZe's offer. And Leo, the showstopper for this first half. He goes down to Coldzera. FaZe, a hell of a recovery. They need... He's going to need his team to be right there with him. It's going to take some really great calls from Coldzera as well. Everybody to step up to the plate. MIBR, they're here to play. Looking for the 2-0 on FaZe Clan's map pick after picking up a nuke. This could be the last half of the tournament here for FaZe Clan. We'll find out if MIBR can ice him out or if we're going to a third. But either way, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, no matter what. Lucas, cheeky position. And KNG, they've gone past him. Oh, no! A bad clear. A blunder. Lucas able to get himself no. a double as well. This is... You must trade. Oh, it's You paid. just must trade. <laughs> Not the start they no, needed. That's it. That, I mean, that's that, like, th this is... Brokey doesn't clear this properly. KNG hand over face. Lucas, he has an advantage for a second sitting in their Xbox smoke, but not that many seconds. Great cinematic. Just goes to show you how that was really a 1v2 separated from a 1v2. Damn, dude. They get and... stuffed at the goal line. This is base clan. Yeah. No investment whatsoever. Looking to hand over a 12th round to MIBR after they have so mo much momentum. They're kind of just scooping it back. I do not expect to see MIBR cool off or respect their opponents at all. Good. Dust 2 opens up the CT rounds, aggression. To yeah, yeah, good point. Ooh, a little double from TRK and Lucas with a triple. Hey, MIBR 12-5 as fast as they can. And absolutely, Lucas was a huge question mark coming into this lineup that f appeared to be thrown together. Like, even though it was thrown together, they did a good job of picking good names. Like, VSM, everybody knew was nuts. TRK, they knew he didn't have a star player role in MIBR, but should have. KNG, we know how good KNG is. And Leo, we know him from, like, Sharks and stuff like that, just as their star player as well. Lucas was the guy who was just not really doing anything in Brazil on the, his lineups looking maybe like he was just out of motivation not in a great place coming into this lineup at first there was still question marks but now he's definitely stepping up to the challenge and we know what a change of scenery can do for a player you know you can never really doubt the comeback to form these days with how many 
recoveries we've seen in terms of form. Nice grenade. KNG wanting to swing wide here. Flashbang helps him. He will get there, but at a cost. Incredibly low HP. And more importantly, he had evacuated the B site, leaving uh -oh. it open for the taking, which means now FaZe are facing a sixth round very likely. Now this is... More Unless they uh, want to chance the retake. It is the B site of Dust 2. But it's also MIBR very confidently sitting on a seven round lead. Still, they know better, Launders. Yeah, starting to go back. It's just uh, not worth the effort here. They don't have tunnels control, and there's too many players in the site all comfortable with not enough grenades or HP to, to risk it. They can save. They know that FaZe Clan won't chase them. They've got a long climb back. MIBR already had a good start with a couple of free rounds. They're still in the driver's seat. And with this next round, like, again, they, like, even though they lose here, they collect a little loss bonus plus their four guns. It's super smart to save on CT side whenever you can. I think that's part of the reason. Honestly, a huge thing that Astralis did a lot that most teams started copying was just saving all the time. All the time. All the time. Because you're constantly building up a bank and you're giving yourself a chance in the, in the follow-up rounds without having to reinvest. And, yeah, sometimes some retakes are just unlikely. They took a big gamble by not playing inside the B site. And they they paid the they, they paid the price. They they decided to pay the price. Paid the only, piper. Only real respectable ADR line here at VSM. Everybody else trying to keep up, getting close, but he's Back really to B. He's just a man. Ooh, instantly gonna put out that Molotov. It's the B hold to be tested. Brokey's tagged up. Leo, he's got an angle through the doorway, but Rain connects the headshot. And a man. Now down, nobody inside of the site at all for MIBR. They're facing the exact same situation that they just did, and they walked away to save. Yeah, but this time they've got the HP. Mm -hmm. They're closer up to the doors as well. Let's see if they even attempt to go for it. I don't know. They're thinking about it. They have full grenades. It's early in the round. Molly goes the deep. Far. There's no one there. But it's these T-smokes and mollies that really kind of cancel them out. Ooh, smoke's up close. Okay, we're talking taking away the vision from the door. They are going to push one player through this. Lucas, he's trying to find some kind of an impact. Bomb is ticked away so quickly that they know they need to run. Brokey, he's not going to let them, or at least so he thinks, but he gets shut out by VSM. They will forfeit another round, at least testing the waters this time around, Launders. Yep. And it's still the same outcome. FaZe will take a seventh. And made in Brazil now, losing two rounds because of the strong arm in the B site. It's actually still very scary, the, the way that MYBR are playing this. They drop one player, but they're, again, okay. quietly building up bank. Second round loss bonus, plus they save seven guns in total in the last two rounds. KNG retains the op. They've still got, they've still spent a lot of money to actually reinvest. Um, but again, at least it's the loss bonus that comes with it. So, we'll see. Saving the comeback, always difficult. Quiet now, no straight on B hits. Let's see if MIBR get uncomfortable here on CT side. Not looking to push anything, but have control of long. They don't necessarily need to push if they don't want to in this position. And they have a guy right side door as well if it is an A hit. They're pretty well fortified. BSM playing close up, waiting for them to come back to him. A little bit of movement. It's such a kind of a big pump fake. There's not really any reward here for FaZe Clan. No push that comes out. Can I just re-aggress or just jump back out to mid to B? Ooh, flash. BSM dodges it, and he takes a second kill with him. That's sick. Rain? Oh, no. Take it through the smoke of all things. And the spam actually helps the op get out as well. Leo with the pre-fire as Olaf tries to cross, leaving Cold Zera all alone. But that's an easy first one. Oh, actually, it costs him half his health. Highly unlikely he can clutch this. A one versus four. They actually... Fake plant? Oh, they don't run out. Yeah, nice. 
Now, Molotov burning time off of the clock. Oh, they're gonna jump in on this. Yeah, 10 seconds. He's just gonna look for this, and Lucas takes it away. MIBR finding themselves a third round on the CT side, three away from eliminating FaZe. And they probably wanted that plan too. A great hold here from VSM, working all alone. Basically just needed to come up big, and this is That's insane. Nuts. I mean, TRK just spamming, like, shot down range. It's a distract for the offer to come through. He ends up getting a kill too. He'll take it. And immediately FaZe left scrambling for cash here. We're going to see them with two, nope, excuse me, one pistol. Brokey does have his off. And Ooh. he hits the shot. VSM walking wounded. Flashbang to slow things down in mid. Didn't want to get scrambled by an immediate push through doors. FaZe have to at least wait out the flames. I wonder if they try something new here. No push out. Like that phase are just quickly taking out mid control this time around. That default looked a little bit stale in that previous round. It's gonna be the B split. Oh, the crunch is coming. Front grab supreme. BSM low. Leo, one kill. Desperate for cover and Kierby's gonna take his head off. So another save from MIBR. FaZe, they are slowly but surely racking up rounds. It's split down the middle. Six rounds deep, three each for this second half so far. We're still consistently saving here for MIBR. When they're losing, they're not getting wiped out. Just keeping this threat. I think economically speaking, they're playing very smart CS. And even though there's a hole in the defense here with the, the B setups, if they ever have a lucky round from VSM, they can save them. If they ever uh, have to really lose it, like it's something they can afford, um, they, it, it, FaZe can cannot like continue to do it every single round. I say that they did have a first half where MIBR just hit long every single round, but we'll see if uh, MIBR are going to be scared and play more of a two-on-two -two setup instead. They surround the CTs, but they don't come into their territory at all. Brokey sitting up. We like, that's what you're going to see, a change of ideas, right? You're not going to just copy and paste the same strategy so sussing out that tactic will probably be a prerogative here for FaZe Clan, but what that tactic will be will be a question mark. I don't know. I think for MIBR, cat push is in order. Just lo early long control. It is going to be the 2-1-2 two -two setup. Oh, wait, is it three? No, it is. It's three long again. FaZe Clan actually take long control. Met by a molly. That shoves them back. Oh, wow. It's a, it's a fake. Love this call from Cold Zera. Going back to what works, but pretending it is something completely different. Only an MP9 on the player within B site. Yeah, look how look how the CTs have the full. Coldzera has grabbed all of their attention here, yep. right? Like this, all is of it. Actually, a sick call. MP9 good for just the one. Leo, no, no way. A second? How has he managed oh, that? I mean, you'd think with the 4v1 it was over, but Brokey, that's the difference maker. Able to keep this one even despite the best efforts of Leo and his measly SMG. Lucas picking up utilities, and the terrorists throw them back through the doorway. Cold Zera, perfect flank, but he actually misses some shots. Will recover it in the end. Now they've got these CTs pinned into position, and FaZe Clan have managed another round here. A ninth on the board. Four of the last five catching up to MIBR. This is beautiful because they're both getting the B hit that they want, plus they're not letting, uh, they're, it's prudent enough that they're not letting MIBR even save. They have Cold Zera at long, which is where the CTs are ending up on a round that they lose to the B hits. Like Leo gets two frags with the MP9, which is just not even what he's supposed to do. He's supposed to just get destroyed. But this will finally put MIBR on a full save. Phase Clan can take a breath and take a 10th. How the tables have turned. Flashbacks to Nuke. A second half comeback. 9-0 was once the score for MIBR. Pistol conversion and a good rifle from VSM versus the B hold. Every single other hit has been into the B. Ooh, oh, barrel shit. stuffed. Yeah, Brokey's awareness. Saved them the last round, and it looks like will help them have a clean run at it here, too. Couple smokes down for the hit. They will commit, no doubt. Again, it is just pistols, so we don't expect too much from MIBR on this one. This is one of those rounds. Oh, wait, Brokey. 
Got to get softened up by the fire and then dealt with with the USP, but it'll be picked up. So a single AK technically loss. Really not that much here. T side of Dust 2 starting to deliver for phase. Going to manage themselves now a three round differential. Trying to stay cool. Right into the scope, just in case the flank comes in. And we see that Eco actually ends up towards A. It almost is to create the illusion that that's like part of this overall strategy. We've seen all of the significant rounds end up in B, and it's not failed yet. Stuff lower default at the moment. They're gonna threaten here. They've thrown light grenades out towards long. They're feeding into this. MIBR trying the same thing, but guess what is coming again? B split. Oh man, and Kierby, he's not missing. Oh, unbelievable. Two kills, one of which through CT spawn synchronized with Brokey. Kierby hits another kill, and it is just headshots across the kill feed. Smoke. Kierby starting to feel himself. We're talking two rounds, the difference, and the CT sent spiraling back into economic dumps. Yeah, they're starting to turn the rotisserie on. This is a really clean couple of kills. This one shot with Brokey's wow. makes that look disgusting. Ooh, and, oh the nicest one. We missed it. Holy. Load it up. <laughs> Jesus. Iced. Dust 2, there's so many, there's so much room for opening aggression and tactics. They could potentially have a better chance than sitting back and waiting to deal with a mid B split with two players sitting in all of the regular positions. But for FaZe, I mean, they're laughing. Like, this is exactly what they need to do. And so far, some great calls here from Cold Zera. B site's completely evacuated. Man, why does it feel like long A to phase is what B site is to MIBR? It is. Yeah, it is the exact same thing. It was like, why didn't phase time respond to long A adequately for the first 10 Ooh. rounds? Okay. Oh, oh my god, god. Wait, what? 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 Leo just There's goes sprinting one through the doorway. Here be oh, now of, the, of all Shut the rounds. Up. Are you serious? Of all the rounds a full pistol that is a wrench in the works they run through the smoke they get the kill in tunnels they hunt no no oh. your offer <laughs> who's not covering that are you kidding me he runs in i like almost want to see the stadium. replay with the radar so that i can see where everyone was positioned That's just insane i don't even know like you that is 14. the round they That's needed 14 okay well, FaZe, they've got to make up for that. I mean, this is... If you had uh, been we'll, low... We'll see, we'll, see it, we'll see it again on the desk. Okay. Round after round, FaZe was clawing this back. Six of the last seven, and suddenly that comes out of nowhere. Let it serve as a reminder that MIBR are explosive. And my god, that deagle shot. TRK, you're disgusting in all the best ways. Are they finally gonna get the round they want? It actually does feel like it's more of a lean towards this A split. Yep. And like MIBR have literally just gambled towards this every single time. Their their mid to B hold has not improved in the slightest, but they still continue to gamble. And I, I don't know, but it actually feels like they might for once be rewarded keeping the lean here. They don't tend to come back down into mid, so I don't expect Brokey to find a kill with this. Does have the yeah. bomb as well. He's eventually going to have to get going. Player back on Goose. They're committing. KNG. This is all on KNG. Powerful position. This is. Doesn't have to worry about Pit because he's got a player out there. Let's see what he delivers. Or maybe it's Lucas to take over the show. He gets the one. Rain trades. KNG scoped in. He takes it. Now TRK at bat and KNG's just delivered. He's got himself the double. It's Kierby in the 1v4 or MIBR after lulling them into a false sense of security. Taking it back with the pistol. Kierby on for the clutch. The jumping shot from VSM and made in Brazil with 15 here. That's how they lock it up. They finally, they do the exact same thing for the, what, 11th round in a row. 
and, 11th. And then it's just FaZe Clan run into it after getting eco. They finally try the A hit and the read is correct. Is this genius from MIBR or madness? I don't know. I don't even care. I mean, I guess it was about time, but it still won't be an easy win. No, this because is still FaZe Clan for the most part looking great. They still have the chance to go B again. There's still the chance that MIBR play the exact same setup again in the mid to B setup and get punished. This time there's two ops for the CT side. The only difference at this moment is this is a cursed this is a cursed scoreline for FaZe, okay? <laughs> and a, and a lot of pressure right now to actually win each round. And we'll see if that plays a factor. Four rounds as they face elimination. KNG won't be scared by your wall banks. If anything, that just makes him get closer. A little bit of utility usage being thrown out here from the T's. They are clumping on these mid doors. KNG rattles a shot, doesn't land it. Good damage through the doorway. Oh, that nade could be huge, but the incendiary oh. does flush a player back as another frag chips 22 oh. HP off. Molly's in the skies. And there if you want, they're lighting it on fire. Frags to follow suit, 50 seconds, 5v5. And what, they're gonna try A again? They, MIBR haven't changed a goddamn thing. They have sat here as the B site crumbled, knowing hoping that eventually it would come their way. And now two rounds in a row, FaZe are gonna try their hand. There's nobody over in that pit though. TRK needs to hold it here. And Lucas already delivers with one, but it's Cold Zera off of the long play to get himself a double. Can't no. get the triple, cause Lucas goes huge. And now he's looking for one more kill up close. Brokey with the tech nine, keeping things alive. 15 seconds left. Plants the bomb. Op is up. Oh, and he misses. There you have it, folks. MIBR, they have done it. A 2-0 fashion. A hell of a comeback on Nuke. 14-4. to 4.